Imagine the vast, unending expanse of the universe. Galaxies upon galaxies, each with millions of stars just waiting to be explored. Humanity's desire to reach beyond our solar system is not just about curiosity. It's about our innate need to discover, to learn, and perhaps one day to survive. Let's talk about what interstellar travel really means. It's a term that goes well beyond the familiar interplanetary travel, which involves voyaging between planets within our own solar system, like a trip from Earth to Mars. Interstellar travel, however, is something else entirely. It involves crossing the immense distances between stars within our galaxy. This is not just a step beyond our planetary backyard. It's a giant leap into a vast ocean of stars separated by voids that span trillions of miles. Achieving interstellar travel would mean overcoming challenges on scales we have barely begun to grasp. We're talking about distances that are almost incomprehensible, requiring speeds, energy sources, and technologies that currently exist only in the realms of theory and science fiction. In this video, we're going to dive deep into these concepts. We'll explore whether interstellar travel could become a reality by examining the latest research, the emerging technologies, and the formidable barriers we would need to overcome. We'll look into what scientists and engineers are saying about the potential pathways to the stars and what it would mean for humanity if we could actually reach other star systems. The Evolution of Human Space Travel Recap of Interplanetary Achievements Humanity's journey into space began with Earth orbit, swiftly followed by the monumental Apollo moon landings, which marked our first physical touch beyond our own planet. These missions not only expanded our scientific understanding, but also demonstrated the potential for human resilience and innovation. As we progressed, robotic explorers like the Mars rovers, Sojourner, Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity continued this legacy, each mission more advanced than the last. These rovers have been pivotal in analyzing Martian soil, climate, and geography, sending invaluable data back to Earth, which could prove essential in future manned missions to Mars and beyond. These achievements represent critical milestones in our understanding and exploration of our own solar system. Technological Advancements in Propulsion Systems The propulsion technologies that took us to the Moon and now drive missions to Mars and other celestial bodies are primarily chemical-based engines, which have been refined over decades. However, these systems have limitations when considering the vast distances of interstellar travel. Chemical rockets provide powerful thrust but carry a finite amount of fuel, which restricts their range and speed. Moreover, reaching another star system within a human lifetime requires velocities close to the speed of light, something far beyond what current propulsion technology can achieve. The development of ion thrusters and nuclear propulsion presents incremental advances, offering greater efficiency than traditional chemical rockets by expelling ions at high velocities. While these technologies mark significant improvements for interplanetary travel, enabling more payload to be carried further and faster, they still fall short of the speeds required for interstellar voyages, where the nearest star systems lie light years away. Ongoing research and theoretical advancements aimed at interstellar capability. As we push the boundaries of current technology, the field of theoretical physics brings us concepts that could one day enable interstellar travel. Projects like NASA's Breakthrough Propulsion Physics Project explore the possibilities of space drives that do not require propellant, based on principles of physics that have not yet been discovered. Similarly, initiatives such as the DARPA-funded 100-year starship aim to ensure that human space travel to another star is a capability that can be achieved within the next century. Moreover, theoretical advancements, such as the concept of the Alcubierre warp drive, which involves bending space-time to achieve faster-than-light travel, continue to inspire both scientific inquiry and the imagination of what might be possible. Although these concepts currently exist only in theory and require exotic materials and energy scales that are not yet achievable, they keep the dream of interstellar travel alive, pushing researchers to think beyond the limitations of our current technologies. These explorations and developments represent the ongoing evolution from our early days of space travel, setting the stage for a future where interstellar travel might move from the realm of science fiction into reality. Each step in our journey through space, from the Apollo landings to the potential warp drives of the future, reflects our relentless pursuit to break free from our terrestrial shackles and venture into the vast unknown. Understanding Interstellar Distances and Challenges Astronomical Units of Measure to truly grasp the concept of interstellar travel, one must first understand the units used to measure the vast distances in space. The most common unit is the light year, which is the distance light travels in one year. 
Considering that light moves at about 299 to 792 kilometers per second, a light year equals nearly 946 trillion kilometers. This unit helps astronomers and the general public alike appreciate the immense scales when discussing the distances between stars. Another unit, the astronomical unit, AU, equivalent to the average distance from the Earth to the Sun, about 150 million kilometers, is also used, but typically for measuring distances within our solar system. For interstellar distances, light years provide a more practical measure because of the incredibly vast spaces involved. Closest star systems, one of the nearest star systems to Earth is Alpha Centauri, a triple star system which includes Proxima Centauri, the closest star at about 4.24 light years away. To put this into perspective, if one were to travel to Proxima Centauri at the speed of the fastest current spacecraft, like the Parker Solar Probe, which can reach speeds of about 700,000 kilometers per hour, it would still take roughly 6,500 years to arrive. This simple calculation underscores not only the vastness of the distances involved, but also the inadequacy of our fastest technologies to make such a journey feasible within a human lifespan. Physical and Technological Challenges the immense distances to even the nearest stars present formidable physical and technological challenges. First and foremost is the problem of velocity. Current propulsion technologies are inadequate for achieving the necessary speeds to cover interstellar distances in a practical time frame. Even hypothetical technologies like nuclear pulse propulsion or antimatter engines, while potentially faster, still fall short of enabling reasonable travel times to neighboring star systems. Another significant challenge is the energy requirement. The energy needed to propel a spacecraft to near-light speeds is astronomically high, far beyond what we can currently harness or imagine storing on a spacecraft. For instance, even theoretical constructs like the Alcubierre drive, which would manipulate space-time around a ship, require forms of energy and matter that we have not yet discovered or created. Then there are the practical considerations of sustaining life on such long voyages. A trip to another star would likely take decades, if not centuries, meaning life support systems would need to be self-sustaining, capable of providing air, food, and water indefinitely. Shielding against cosmic radiation poses another critical challenge, as long-term exposure could be lethal or cause severe health issues for any crew. Moreover, communication across such distances would involve time lags of years. Messages sent from a spacecraft to Earth would take several years to reach home, complicating navigation, control, and any real-time assistance in case of emergencies. In conclusion, while the idea of reaching the stars is tantalizing and technically within the laws of physics, the actual implementation of interstellar travel requires breakthroughs in physics, engineering, and technology that are currently beyond our grasp. The journey towards achieving such capabilities, however, continues to drive forward our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Theoretical Foundations and Emerging Technologies Physics Underlying Potential Interstellar Travel Methods The theoretical framework for interstellar travel hinges significantly on our understanding of physics, particularly Einstein's theory of special relativity. This theory posits that as an object approaches the speed of light, its mass increases, requiring an ever-increasing amount of energy to continue accelerating. The speed of light thus represents a cosmic speed limit, one that seems insurmountable with our current understanding of physics and technology. Moreover, time dilation becomes a significant factor at speeds approaching light speed. Time would pass slower for those on the spacecraft relative to those left on Earth, impacting navigation, aging, and communication. These physical realities shape and limit the methodologies we can consider for interstellar voyages. The challenge is not merely reaching high speeds, but doing so in a way that is energetically feasible and can accommodate human physiological and psychological needs over potentially multi-generational timescales. Advanced Concepts and Technologies Several advanced propulsion technologies offer theoretical solutions to the challenges of interstellar travel, each with its unique set of capabilities and limitations. Nuclear pulse propulsion, for example, involves propelling a spacecraft by a series of nuclear explosions. This method could theoretically provide much greater thrust and efficiency than chemical rockets, allowing for higher speeds over extended periods. Antimatter engines, another speculative technology, could potentially offer even higher efficiency. Antimatter, when combined with matter, results in complete annihilation and conversion of mass to energy, according to Einstein's equation EMC2. This process could theoretically provide the immense amounts of energy required for near light speed travel. However, antimatter is currently extremely difficult and costly to produce and store safely. 
beamed propulsion methods such as the Breakthrough Starshot initiative propose using ground-based or space-based lasers to propel ultra-lightweight sails on spacecraft. This method would not require the spacecraft to carry its fuel, significantly reducing mass and potentially allowing for speeds up to 20% the speed of light. Such speeds could make travel to Proxima Centauri feasible within human lifetimes. Scientific Findings and Experimental Research Recent studies published in journals such as Acta Astronautica and the Journal of Propulsion and Power provide critical insights into these technologies. Research in Acta Astronautica has explored the theoretical feasibility of nuclear pulse propulsion, modeling potential spacecraft designs and mission profiles. These studies often conclude that while technically plausible, such missions would require international cooperation and decades of sustained scientific and financial investment. In the Journal of Propulsion and Power, articles have detailed the engineering challenges associated with antimatter production and containment. While the theoretical yield is high, the practical aspects of creating sufficient antimatter and then using it safely for propulsion are immense hurdles that might not be overcome for many decades, if at all. Experimental research into beamed propulsion has seen some promising developments, with small-scale tests demonstrating the basic principles of the technology. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot are in the early stages of planning missions that could send small probes to nearby stars within the next few decades, using light sails propelled by powerful lasers. These scientific explorations are critical not only in advancing specific technologies, but also in guiding the global conversation about the future of human space exploration and the potential for interstellar travel. As these technologies move from the realm of theory into early experimental phases, they represent tangible steps toward turning the dream of reaching the stars into reality. Viable Concepts for Interstellar Journeys The Alcubierre Warp Drive one of the most intriguing theoretical proposals for achieving faster-than-light travel is the Alcubierre Warp Drive, named after physicist Miguel Alcubierre. This concept suggests that a spacecraft could achieve apparent superluminal travel through the expansion and contraction of space-time itself. Essentially, the spacecraft would not move faster than light. Instead, it would ride a wave of space-time. The space ahead of it would contract while the space behind it would expand, effectively moving the craft to its destination faster than light would in normal space. This model requires what is known as exotic matter, with negative energy density to stabilize the space-time bubble. This type of matter has not yet been discovered, and current physics suggests it may not exist. However, the theoretical physics community continues to explore the possibilities, debating the requirements and implications of warp drive mechanics within the frameworks of general relativity and quantum field theories. Wormholes as shortcuts through space. Wormholes, or Einstein-Rosen bridges, represent another theoretical pathway to interstellar travel. These are hypothetical tunnels through the fabric of space-time, connecting two distant points like a shortcut. The concept of wormholes arises from solutions to the equations of general relativity. However, like the warp drive, the practical creation and stabilization of a wormhole would require exotic matter to prevent the wormhole from collapsing. Recent theoretical papers, such as those published in the Physical Review D and Classical and Quantum Gravity, have explored the physics of traversable wormholes, considering the types of negative mass energy required to open and maintain a wormhole and the potential quantum effects involved. These studies often highlight the enormous technical and energy challenges involved, as well as the need for materials and conditions that are currently speculative. Current scientific consensus and technological hurdles. The current scientific consensus holds that while concepts like the Alcubierre warp drive and wormholes are fascinating and mathematically valid solutions within general relativity, they remain speculative for practical implementation. The primary hurdles are manifold and significant. Existence of exotic matter. Both concepts rely on exotic matter with negative energy density which theoretical physics has not yet proven to exist. Without this type of matter, neither concept can be experimentally realized. Energy requirements. The energy required to manipulate space-time, whether for a warp drive or a wormhole, is orders of magnitude beyond our current capabilities. Estimates suggest the energy equivalent to that of entire planets or even stars would be necessary. Technological implementation. Beyond the theoretical challenges, the engineering realities of building and controlling technologies to manipulate space-time on the necessary scales are daunting. Current technology is nowhere near the level needed to begin practical experiments. Safety and stability. The safety of such travel would be highly questionable, with significant unknowns regarding the stability of space-time structures and the effects on time and space around them. 
In conclusion, while these concepts inspire visions of a future where interstellar travel is possible, significant breakthroughs in physics, materials, science, and engineering are required. The exploration of these ideas, however, pushes the boundaries of our understanding of the universe and continues to inspire both scientific inquiry and the imagination of possibilities beyond our current realities. Ethical and Practical Implications Ethical Dilemmas Interstellar travel raises profound ethical dilemmas that must be considered as we venture beyond our solar system. One primary concern is the impact on human crews involved in potentially multi-generational missions. These journeys could span several human lifetimes, raising questions about the rights and responsibilities towards individuals born in transit who have no choice about their participation in such missions. What quality of life can be ensured for them? How will their mental and physical health be managed in the confined and unnatural environment of a spacecraft? Moreover, the use of automated probes and potential contact with extraterrestrial life forms presents additional ethical challenges. The deployment of automated systems to explore or even prepare distant celestial bodies for human arrival must be governed by strict protocols to avoid harmful contamination of other worlds. This concern parallels the forward and backward contamination risks that NASA and other space agencies rigorously manage within our solar system. The preservation of alien ecosystems, should they exist, is a moral imperative comparable to the conservation efforts on Earth. Sustainability Challenges The sustainability of long-term space missions encompasses several critical aspects primarily life support and the ecological impact on destinations. Life support systems capable of sustaining human life for decades or centuries need to be completely reliable and regenerative, meaning they must recycle all waste and renewably produce food, water, and air. The closed ecological systems proposed for such missions are in developmental stages, and their long-term viability and stability are unproven at the scales required for interstellar travel. Additionally, there is a significant concern regarding the ecological impacts on the stellar destinations. Any mission to another star system would need to carefully consider the potential disruption to local environments. This includes not only biological contamination, introducing Earth-origin microbes to another biosphere, but also the broader environmental footprint of human activities. Mining, habitat construction, and other alterations could irreversibly alter another planet's landscape and ecology. These practical and ethical challenges underscore the necessity for careful multidisciplinary planning and the development of robust international laws governing space exploration. As we design missions that could extend the reach of humanity across the stars, we must also ensure that our actions are sustainable and ethically sound, respecting not only the lives of those who will travel, but also the pristine environments of destinations yet untouched by human hands. In conclusion, the pursuit of interstellar travel is not just a technical endeavor, but also a deeply ethical one, requiring a balanced approach that considers the well-being of both the explorers and the celestial bodies they aim to visit. As we stand on the brink of potentially expanding our presence to other stars, these considerations will play a crucial role in shaping the future of humanity beyond Earth. Conclusion In this exploration of interstellar travel, we've navigated the vast potentials and substantial challenges that lie between humanity and the stars. Groundbreaking concepts like nuclear pulse propulsion, antimatter engines, the Alcubierre warp drive, and traversable wormholes have been examined alongside significant scientific, technological, and ethical hurdles. The reality is stark. Interstellar travel is limited by immense physical and technological constraints and ethical considerations regarding sustainable life support systems and ecological impacts on other worlds. Although the necessary technologies and energy scales are currently beyond our reach, advancements in physics, engineering, and international cooperation could potentially make interstellar journeys feasible within a few centuries. I encourage you to explore this topic further, participate in discussions, and share your views in the comments below. What do you see as the major challenges and viable solutions? How do you envision humanity's future among the stars? Let's continue the conversation and ponder the responsibilities and possibilities that interstellar exploration presents.